It's crazy. I got a call and a text simultaneously from both my girls. Dejanelle Freeman remembers the day she rushed to this very spot we're standing. Her two daughters had texted her on a sunny day just like today. They were hiding from a gunman who'd broken into their school. Yeah, my heart beats a little different. She says the trauma will always be with her and her kids. So I never would have thought that a former student of this institution would come back and do something like this. Now, two years later, police have released hundreds of pages revealing chilling new details about the gunman. 19 year old Orlando Harris. We dug through all 456 pages of this newly released police report. Investigators say the shooter meticulously planned his attack here, targeting students, teachers, and specifically the LGBT community. The report reveals the shooter's family tried to keep him from having a gun. His siblings found body armor and ammunition hidden in packages. The police report describes how he planned to set his family's home on fire with them inside. It also details how he had changed drastically after a car crash and that he spoke of violent thoughts to a psychiatrist. His family and doctor tried to intervene, but without legal options, they couldn't stop him. We've got to give people the tools to be safer in our communities. Missouri lawmaker Ashley Ani has been pushing for red flag legislation. She says it would empower families and law enforcement to intervene when there are warning signs. Not only did we not even discuss implementing a red flag law in our state. We heard two different bills in uh, our Committee on Emerging Issues that would prevent the state from ever implementing a red flag law in our state. Opponents argue red flag laws infringe on constitutional rights, but parents like Freeman say this report is a haunting reminder of Missouri's legal gaps. It was never supposed to happen at all, um, and he shouldn't have had access to the things that he had access to at all. For the I team, Paul Vassan, five on your side. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.